Hey everybody, man, it is so good to be back. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the gift of sabbatical. It was truly a month of rest. You know, believe it or not, you ready for this? This past month, I averaged two hours more per night of sleep than I usually get. <laughs> it was amazing. The first night, my family thought something was wrong. Uh, it was it was phenomenal. I mean, what a difference! Sleep alone makes. I know many of you know what I'm talking about. I mean, sleep is so important to us, but it was truly a month of rest. And I really appreciate the time away. And I hope that it's beneficial, not just for me, my family, but it is beneficial for the church. Uh, I'm looking really forward to being together this weekend. We're going to be sharing the history of legacy. We're even going to be sharing the history before legacy existed in order to hear and to see the full story that God is writing through us as we take steps forward in an almost 20 year dream of healing, reconciliation, and hope that believe it or not, it culminates in our move of our Round Rock campus to Hutto in January. It is a remarkable story that is so much bigger than me, so much bigger than Round Rock, uh, so much bigger than Legacy Church Ministry, so much bigger than Hutto, so much bigger than any of that. It is an amazing story of what is impossible with man is possible with God. So I hope that you will choose to be a part, whether we're in person or online this weekend. You know, I'm grateful to get to encourage and to be encouraged by each of you today. Philippians chapter four, verse eight says, fill your minds with those things that are good and that deserve praise, things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and honorable. These are the things that we are to think on. Yeah, I'm thankful to our elders this last week for their leadership and to avoid creating the Petri dish following the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I'm so thankful for them. I got to talk with them early this week. I got to also talk with several pastors in our area this week, and we feel confident. We feel, we feel good about gathering again, in person this coming weekend. Obviously, if you are not feeling well, please stay home. If you have a scratchy throat, if you have a cough, if you have those things, just stay home. If somebody in your family has those things, just stay home, be smart. We're gonna wear our masks this weekend uh, at all times, except for whenever we're in our chairs. We're also gonna do our best to keep our numbers down. The way that we're gonna do that, uh, as far as like the numbers in our gathering, is we're gonna add a gathering. So 4 p.m., if this is normally the time that we would do our run through where we're, we're testing lighting and sound and, and videos and the band and all that kind of good stuff. But we're going to go ahead and just invite you to this time. And we're going to have a full on worship. We're going to have full on message. We're going to work through everything. And I just would like to invite you. If you'd like to gather at four, come on. If you want to come to the five o'clock hour? Come on. If you would like to gather during the five o'clock hour, that's when we're going to have our online. You would like to gather online? Go for it. I want to invite you to whatever is best for you and your family. Would you just say yes? But here's the deal. Would you gather with us? It is important to be together because we need each other. We need one another as the church. We need to be reminded of who we are. We, more importantly, though, we need to be reminded of whose we are. And that's what happens when we get together as the church. We get reminded of Paul's encouragement to not get tossed back and forth by the waves of opinion. Man, there's so many people that are very willing to give you their opinion these days. Am I right? And their opinion somehow, some way, they think it's fact. We need to not be tossed back and forth by the waves of opinion. To not be tossed back and forth by the waves of COVID. It is a thing. We don't need to stick our head in the sand and say it's not real. We also don't need to live in fear every day that it's going to just completely wreck everybody's lives. That's not the way that we're designed to live. We need to be not uh, thrown back and forth, tossed back and forth by the waves of politics. Our faith is not in politics, our faith is in Jesus. So we need to lean in to our Savior and to think the very best about people. You know, this Sunday, we're gonna, we're gonna talk again about our move to Huddo. And so I hope that you will choose to be present in whichever way that you choose, in person at four o'clock, in person at five o'clock, online at five o'clock. I can't wait to see you. It's gonna be good to be together. Love you guys. We'll see you then.